Question number 57. We have a negatively charged particle moving in a circle with a constant radius, little r, in a constant magnetic field, capital B, and we're given several graphs of the frequency with respect to the radius, so, and we're trying to figure out which one's correct. So we need to figure out a relationship between the frequency and the radius. So we draw a free body diagram, we sum the forces in the n direction. In our free body diagram, we have one force. It's the electric force. It's in toward the center of the circle. So we sum the forces in the indirection. The electric force, again, in, so it's positive. That's equal to mass times the centripetal acceleration. I'll walk through the right-hand rule here just for fun. We have the velocity of the particle is to the right. The magnetic field is into the board. Therefore, our magnetic force is not up because it's a negatively charged particle. It's opposite the direction of our thumb because, again, it's a negatively charged particle, so it's going to be in toward the center of the circle. Now we substitute in equations. The equation for the magnetic force of a moving charge in a magnetic field is the charge times the velocity times the magnetic field times the sine of the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. The equation for centripetal acceleration we're going to use this time is the radius times the angular velocity squared. This velocity is a tangential velocity, so we can substitute in the equation for the tangential velocity, which is the radius times the angular velocity. And the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field is the velocity is to your right, the magnetic field is out of the board, so the angle between those two is 90 degrees. The sine of 90 is 1. You can cancel out a radius from both sides and an angular velocity from both sides, and now we have the charge times the magnetic field is equal to mass times the angular velocity. Now, we don't have anything about frequency in here yet, so we need to get that. So now we're going to substitute in the equation for angular velocity. The equation for angular velocity is angular displacement over change in time. If the particle goes around once, then the change in theta, the angular displacement of the particle, is 2 pi radians. And the change in time for the particle then would be the period, or the time, for one full revolution. And we know that 1 over the period is equal to the frequency, therefore we ha now have on the right the mass times 2 pi times the frequency. Therefore the frequency is going to be equal to charge times the magnetic field divided by the quantity 2 pi times the mass. In other words, the frequency has absolutely nothing to do with the radius. There's only one of the graphs that matches that. This graph shows that the frequency is constant no matter what the radius is, which is exactly what we got in our equation. Therefore, the correct answer is A.